Hi guys, UK Guns here. So in this video, I've got another interesting 22LR, uh, UK legal replica of a, of a well-known firearm. You probably recognize it already. This is based on a um, MP40. It's made by GSG. We've, we've met GSG a few times on this channel. Uh, we've tried their MP5, their uh, Firefly, which is a sort of um, a version of the P226 22LR trainer version of it. Um, this is another GSG gun, but again, similar to some of the others, this one is uh, licensed by Schmeiser. So it has got Schmeiser markings on it. Um, it's made in, in Germany, but obviously that's because it's uh, German sport guns is who make it. I've got to be honest, straight off the bat, it feels pretty, it's very light, plasticky, kind of rickety. Feels like a toy to be honest uh, but yeah, the reason why i'm making it is because this uh, was available to me for this video i thought it'd be interesting something unique for you guys to see and these sorts of videos seem to be quite popular for whatever reason uh, you can't really get these um as much anymore i know they were making them up until relatively recently they also make some others like the stg um, and a few other replicas that gsg make similar to this um, as far as i know they're not making these ones exactly like this anymore but you do see them on the second hand market um, from time to time it's not like the video i did on the uzi which those are quite rare you don't really see them you do see these coming up from time to time but from what i hear they're not super reliable. Haven't shot this one yet. We are going to shoot it today, obviously, but um, I hear they're not the best in the world. But I just thought it would make an interesting video for you guys. It's very kind of faithful in terms of it's got the folding stock, as you see there. Got that wire stock. It's got the cocking handle, obviously, back here. Opens up like that. Uh, magazine release catch is here. It's got this rotary uh, safety catch underneath here, which is strange design, but it works, I guess. Uh, the trigger, it, it feels awful. I'm sure the, I've not fired the, the original sort of genuine MP40. I'm sure it had a better trigger than that. I would certainly like to hope so. Uh, it has some sling loops um, and it has a very sort of basic front sight, but it has no rear sight on this one. I think perhaps it was supposed to have something in there, but this one doesn't, but I'm shooting it quite close. I'm um, sort of 15 yards, 20 yards uh so there shouldn't be any problems but um it's it's unique <laughs> it's definitely unique uh not one i'd probably want uh if i had the choice but i know that you know there are some people who find this stuff really interesting and would love to own something like this um so let's shoot it and see how um how it runs let's get into it okay here we go uh i'm shooting a blazer through this so it's high velocity. We'll see how it likes that. I don't know if it will or not. Oh yeah, safety catch. Wow, okay. That was, that was fine. That was pretty flawless. Tell you what, let's load up another magazine and see if uh, if we can do that again. Okay, so got another magazine loaded up with another 20 rounds. Let's see if we can repeat that. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. Maybe I'll take back what I said. <laughs> that was uh that was flawless there we go well that was that was quite a lot of fun so yeah, maybe maybe they are worthwhile obviously that's only 40 rounds that's all i've shot through this thing um so i can't really attest to how uh reliable it is or isn't but early indications are it seems okay so it certainly seems to like blazer um so if you have one of these do let me know in the comments below if yours is reliable and and, and what it it runs like i'd be interested to know um it was was fun I'm not sure it feels all that great still but um a nice little gun and pretty unique uh, mp40 clone uh, for the uk market if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel i'm looking at bringing more videos like this in the future and other interesting stuff for you as well and if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see on the channel please leave me a comment below i will try and take it into consideration and as always thanks for watching